What's going on everybody? Welcome to Blind Power. So we have here the iPad Pro Magic Keyboard Case. And we're gonna go through accessibility and um, how accessible is this? And sort of my complaints so far with this and my favorite things about it. Pros and cons. So the first thing we're going to start off with Zoom because I know Zoom is quite good. So you cannot triple tap on the mouse pad to zoom in. You have to tap on the touch screen and then move around with the actual um, with the actual mouse pad. But clicking works. Everything is nice and fast. Very jittery. It's very very fast. Um, going home, you know, everything works fine. Making things smaller or bigger, like on the Mac, you hit Command and you can scroll up and down. You can't do that here on the iPad. That's kind of a shame. I, I would like to see that. But, on the bright side, it forces you to remember that there's a screen here and that you can tap it, because it's easy to forget once you're used to the trackpad. But I still prefer touch gestures for a lot of stuff. If I'm navigating, you know, uh, the internet, uh, clicking small buttons, the trackpad is nice. Um, it's cool. Now, there's no voiceover support for this uh, trackpad. That kind of surprised me. So, here we go. Voiceover. Voiceover on 3:02 p.m. Landscape. Charge no trackpad right. support. However, keyboard support is always there. Thursday, up next, button, no upcoming event, Siri apps, show more, YouTube, button, notability, LinkedIn, YT news, button, heading, show more, political, screen time, show more, two hours, entertainment, 25 so, hours. So, you know, I'm navigating my Thursday. screen. Calendar, clock, Some three, gestures three, you can do on the trackpad, Double it won't announce them, but you can do them. Like I just hid away the uh, uh, widgets menu, Home. and then Camera. I can navigate Reminders. Notes. with my memos. keyboard. Contacts. However, I can't, keyboard. like, uh, you can usually command Back option. YouTube. Uh, okay, you can so usually, shut up. Okay, you can usually hit command option and then rotate two fingers for trackpad commander. Trackpad commander should be available on this smart keyboard folio case for the iPad. I don't know why we can't use the trackpad gestures. I know this is the beginning and I know it really isn't ideal to use voiceover with the trackpad when you have a touch screen, but I just want it to be there. Um, but so far I say at least zoom works and at least you know the keyboard commands work for voiceover. This keyboard is solid so just for the keyboard itself the case is worth it. Um, you know the keys they have a lot of travel. Uh, you know there's plenty of things to like about this keyboard case. Now the other stuff that I want to talk about um, is there's no no you know there's, there's no uh, shortcuts like uh, brightness volume on the top. The top you just have the number so it reaches it, it forces you to reach up it forces you to reach up to the volume buttons but you know I think this is an overall good keyboard besides my complaints I feel like this keyboard has a lot of room to grow um, it's fairly heavy because it's you know so that when you open the iPad the bottom doesn't go flying with it that's why it's kind of um, that's why it's kind of heavy on the bottom, but it's about the same thing as carrying a 12 inch MacBook, a 13 inch MacBook Air. It's It's got some heft to it, but it's all worth it. Is the price worth it? Um, you know, 350 bucks for this keyboard case for the iPad Pro. Um, 300 for the uh, 11 inch, 3, 390, 350 for the 12.9, which is the one I have here that I'm showing you. I mean, it depends on your use case. Um, for the, I wouldn't, if you're only getting it for the mouse, I wouldn't get it for the mouse only. Um, I would get it if you want, um, a, a good keyboard with good travel, right? You know, this keyboard is great. It's got a lot of, um, tactile feedback. And 
It feels like a laptop. It's actually lappable. You can put it in your lap. That's just awesome. You couldn't do that with the other keyboard because it would just flop down and you would drop your iPad. It, it, you know, this is a lot more higher quality. And, you know, shutting it and opening it, it feels more like a laptop. Uh, it's a soft touch cover, so the same as the other cases, the uh, same as the folio, the 150 folio, 199 folio. It feels the same thing, it's just a lot more premium. Um, the keyboard in itself, it's very thin. You have a USB pass through on the right, and you, have, you still have your Apple Pencil connection. You know, it's made for the um, iPad 2020, so you see you have the big camera cutout. However, even though it has the big camera cutout, my iPad only has one camera, but it fits. They made it so it's backwards compatible with the iPad from 2018. So thank you, Apple, for doing that nice gesture. That's not like Apple. They don't usually do that. So my review, my first look for this product is it's a great overall. It's very, very premium. My only problem is I find myself opening it up backwards a lot because you don't have like a little latch to hold it. Um, it's very thin and it's easy to just grab your iPad and take it with you, do what you gotta do, plop it back on and the magnet is really strong. I can actually grab it from the iPad itself I'm not touching the keyboard because I'm just touching the iPad and it's pulling it with it. So, very strong magnetic keyboard, very high quality, accessibility is a little bit lacking, but you know what? For overall, it's a good keyboard, it has a little room to grow, um, as I said earlier. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, see you in the next video, goodbye! Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button and remember to enable the notification bell to get all notifications of blind power uploads. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.